at the Capitol this year. There's a lot of ideas of what to do with the extra $17 billion that the state has right now. One idea is to send rebate checks to taxpayers. Senator Michael Kroon of Blaine authored a bill this year to do just that. The bill would give, give roughly half of the surplus back to the taxpayers in the form of rebate checks. And it would be um, $4,400 for a married couple filing jointly and half of that for uh, individual taxpayers. That bill hasn't gotten anywhere just yet. In the House, Representative Matt Norris of Blaine thinks that tax relief could come in other ways. When I talk about the surplus, I say let's focus on what's going to generate the biggest and longest return on investment for the state of Minnesota. What's going to really leave a legacy for us? And in regard to that, I think focusing on three main areas, uh, infrastructure, housing, and education. Regardless of rebate checks, both of these legislators have ideas to help schools. We're talking about fully funding our public schools, and that means we have to do a couple of things uh, because different schools have different needs. So I mentioned I'm carrying the bill that would increase the general formula. That's the per pupil amount that each school gets across the state. Increasing the amount we spend on special education in our schools. So there's an opportunity to do that. That's a priority in our caucus and also increase the general formula for education spending. Free school lunch, yeah, that's one that I was working on even back uh, when I was an advocate before I joined the legislature. And, you know, on balance, uh, it's something that I think just makes a lot of sense. And there's also the potential for growth at the National Sports Center. Senator Kroon authored a bill in the Senate to build the National Rugby Center. It would include dedicated rugby fields as well as an adaptive sports complex. And I think that would be a tremendous asset for Blaine. Um, we've become a hub for rugby in North America, and the adaptive part of that would be great, too. And my understanding, this would be one of the few facilities like that in the world. And um, that would be a, a tremendous asset for Blaine, and it would fit where they're planning on putting it, would fit nicely with what, what the city is planning to doing with that new uh, economic development over there. And so there's some good things on the horizon for Blaine, and I hope to be a part of it. Representative Norris is authoring the companion bill in the House. As they work on these issues, they both agree there's another issue that's even more urgent. Well, first and foremost, I would like to see the money go to Highway 65. I think we're going to get something done this year. Uh, we're, look, we're asking for $130 million. That would allow us to eliminate all the stoplights from 99th to 117th. I'm really trying to get the full $130 million. The reality is up here at the state capitol, we don't always get everything we want. We're having conversations with MnDOT, bringing them into the conversation. It's a very big price tag, obviously. So, um, you know, it's going to take a concerted effort and a lot of co cooperation and collaboration to get it done, but I remain optimistic. And I'm really uh, working hard with my colleagues here in the House, Representative West, in the Senate, Senator Kroon, uh, to make sure that we're bringing those tax dollars back home to the North Metro and fixing what is not just an inconvenience, but really a danger uh, here in, in our district. The odds are good that we'll get some funding for Highway 65, hopefully enough to get that project going and then the momentum builds on itself and we get it done um, sooner rather than later. This legislative session wraps up in May, so there's several more weeks to get things done. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting.